hit pretty hard <laughs> in and that the, last fight. And the very um, elaborate words of my ancestors, I've got you, boo. Oh, okay. I've thank thank you thank you, boo. <laughs> is that is that is that how I'm supposed to respond? <laughs> is that lizard folk slang? Yes, boo means outsider that we are caring for. You too, hmm. boo. Hmm. Interesting. I can the make, rest of I can make anything up. <laughs> Do you guys want to maybe check the door and see if you can hear anything while we're casting? Sure. This ritual? Since I'm taking point, I guess I can uh, check and see if I hear anything through that with my amazing lizard folk hearing. What do you want for that, Daddy? Perception? Yep. We talked about this. That's another nat 20. Woo! You hear your own heartbeat and Bastros's Barracks, Tybalt's, and Nevin's heartbeat very faintly with your reptilian-like ear sockets from the other room. Quite quiet. Don't even hear a mouse in there. Other rooms quiet, including mice, which I don't understand why mice are always used as an indicator of uh, dank dungeons. Mice can have good things, too. It's too quiet. That is true. Mice also aren't silent. Oh, yeah, I've learned that. My cat keeps murdering mice. I'm having a mouse problem, and it's, uh, yeah, they're loud as shit when they're terrified. Okay, yeah, you didn't hear anything. Okay, I didn't hear anything, side. guys, so we are ready to go through this door when you guys are ready. Unless you wanted to head down and check out that rune thing that almost burnt off Tybalt's finger. No, it's sad almost. with the spectral spear. Almost. Oh, Barrick said he had to be right back. He just messaged me a second ago. Yeah, I saw him jump off there. And Bastros, you're good. I saw you messaged something about Chrome. Yeah, I'm fine. It, it okay. can wait. Tell Chrome to eat shit. I actually like Chrome as a browser. It's very user friendly, but it does eat a lot of like RAM. When are you gonna open the door? Yeah, I'll open what the door. Discord. I'll, I'll check the door softly, see if it like turns and opens properly and quietly. When you go to reach for the door, the knob does not turn. <gasps> this door is locked. If only we had a key. All right, guys, does anybody can pick a lock or I'm kicking this door down with all my might? I forgot to ask, is this a wooden door? What I can try. Is this? It's wooden. Okay, go ahead and try. And if it doesn't work, I'm kicking this door down with all my might. <clears throat> you rolling for it, Tibble? What is that? No, no, yeah. no. Oh. I'm not doing it. Nevin. <clears throat> oh, sorry, what Nevin. Is that? Uh, slate of hand. Mm. Total 14. How do you try to unlock the door? Uh, well, is it like a keyhole lock or is it like... It is a keyhole. Okay, then I would pull out my thieves tools and... Yeah, do the whole the lock, lock picking thing and just okay. yeah, work at the lock, feel it, and with search for the tumblers and... I just want to see if you're using thieves tools, but I got you now. Oh, yeah. Um... As you pull out your, your thieves tools and your lock pick, you mess around for a little bit and shortly, probably within 10, 15 seconds, you hear a click. That wasn't really a click, a click as it pops open and the door opens just an inch after you unlock it and pull the latch. You guys want me to go ahead and scout ahead a little bit since you didn't hear anything? If that's something you're good at, have at it. I mean... 
Oh, um, actually, here's a good idea. Um, so, are, you're a bard, right? Or a rogue? I'm a bard. Okay, that's what I thought. Um, because you're a little bit more dank than I am, how about we both stealth and scout ahead? I'll just stay a few feet behind you. Because for a barbarian, my stealth is pretty goddamn high. That way, if something does happen or goes sideways, I can jump in front of you and protect you. Okay. I hope that the room is just a big lit room with all the enemies just standing <laughs> <in the> center. <laughs> <clears throat> Same. Roll stealth, homeboy, and I'll follow you. Mm. Me talking about how stealthy I am. Also, me rolls a fucking two. Six. Why don't we just peek in the door first, y'all? Like, we do. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Before I even yeah. go in, I'm just gonna like slowly open the door. And I think Thieves Tools has a mirror in it, so I'm gonna kind of use that to peek around the slightly open door and like. I fucking know that. See what I can see in the room. Look at the big brain on Nevin. That's, that that's sounds even if it doesn't have a mirror in it, I just like that. So that's now rad. it does, even if it doesn't. Yeah. So <laughs> not saying I don't believe you, but I didn't know that I had a freaking mirror, but that's pretty freaking sweet. Okay. Um you where it opened a little bit after you picked the door, you kinda look through your mirror and you see a what looks to be a armory. You see different bins and barrels, different weapons sticking out, spears, swords. Uh, crossbows and bolts hung on the wall. You see some red cloaks hung around the wall, and you see one brown cloak kind of looks dirty and patchy, kind of sitting among the red cloaks. Um, the tech magic should be still active. Ten minutes concentration. Um, that cloak does seem to be highlighted in a, in a little aura, the brown cloak. Uh, what school of magic do I see emanating from that cloak? That is actually a really good question. I would say... Illusion. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I tell the rest of the crew, like, that there's a cloak... Does it look... Is it like hanging on something, or is it just kind of? Yeah, they're just little tacks on the walls. All the cloaks are hanging from. It's like three red, that brown kind of patchy one, and then like a few more red cloaks on the other side. Okay, <clears throat> I'm gonna tell the rest of the group what I see. Uh, I see that fog of war is only shown so far. Uh, is there like another door there, or? Looks just like a is stone just, wall. Just, as far as I can see. Yep. Okay. Like a stone wall, and then, then I'm gonna... the rest of the room is kind of lit with, uh, or set with like the different weapons and the cloaks. Okay, I'll uh, I'll open the door and walk in stealthily. Still, just a. It is an armory, but I guess I'll, you know, keep an eye out for if there's any booby traps or, or anything. <clears throat> Yeah, what's your passive perception? Uh, that's a good question. Passive perception is a 13. You're like entering in stealthily, using your mirror, and kind of gazing around, seeing the walls, seeing the weapons, seeing the cloaks, and you're kind of looking just in case there's any trip wires or the wooden floor, maybe there's like a loose plank or some kind of plate, pressure plate, but uh, looks pretty clear. Okay. Um, you said it's just stone wall over here? Yep. Okay. Um, Ooh, hmm. God, that was sharp. Hey guys, banana bread? Are we, are we good? Um, I'll yeah, just, yeah. like, not, not shout, but like quietly pass back the information. Like, yeah, we're, we're clear. It's just an armory. I'll not right. quietly pass back the information. Kind of yeah, we're in. clear. Let's go in. Oh my god, it's so, it's so loud. Um, 
What's the state of the weapons in here? Recently sharpened and ready oh. to go, it looks like. Maybe for new recruits. Or oh. just armory for... The red weapons in general. So I remember Nevin looking at that crossbow earlier. Do I see any crossbows or other items in here? Quite a few crossbows. Bolts along with them. Spears. Looks like some short swords. Okay. Nothing remotely like Talon. Um, no, you're not de detect. There's no like magic being detected from anything but that cloak in the room. Nothing that looks ornate like Talon. All right. Well, uh, you said there are there are crossbows. Yes. Are there any light or hand crossbows in there? They look to be of the white variety, not quite heavy, and definitely not hand. Would still require two hands to use. Right. Um, can I grab a, the, one of the light crossbows and however many bolts I can, and then I'm also going to grab that uh, all the cloaks and throw them in my bag. Okay. You got about I'm thinking six of the red cloaks, and then that one brown cloak you put in your bag, and. You're able to get a crossbow and um, just grab a thing of 20 bolts. All right, I'm keeping track of the, the clothing, so just I, I added it to the list. Are you saying I should remove that ring and the, and the, the, the chain mail thing from my inventory? Oh, no, I don't, I'm not tracking that. I was just tracking the red brand clothing. I wasn't you tracking the other stuff that you already have. The ring because you gave, and I think you gave the chain mail belt to Nevin. I did, but if they want to write that down, that's fine. If not, then I'll keep oh, it yeah. in my inventory. I'll, I'll right write now. down the platinum ring. So, uh, we're, so I, I guess it's in my inventory right now because you handed it to me. Are there clothes in here other than the cloaks? Yeah, no armor or anything. Just the weapons and the cloaks, it looks like. I, I was just trying to replace my torn pants. <laughs> I think you guys killed some, some red brands. Might be able to cut some of their... How'd your pants get torn? Uh, it's a long story that involves a boar and some woods. <laughs> oh. Okay. Wow. All right, well, let's have, we'll have a beer after this. And... It's actually not that long. That's that's it. Okay. <laughs> All right. And what happened to the boar? <laughs> I had to let I'm it live. It had lie. children. I'm not going to lie, but this story, sound, this story sounds very boring. Nope. Uh, uh, no. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Same. All right, guys, we're gonna end it on that. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Great job. See you after Thanksgiving break. Yeah. Wow. Well, gentlemen, there was that other passage in the giant cavern that we could go. Oh, I don't want to go back through there. Uh, we killed the. We killed the thing that was in there. Or we could try to figure out that arcane thing. I couldn't figure it out, but maybe somebody more magically versed could. Come here. Yeah, I was actually going to go, um, once I grabbed the cloaks and bolts and all that stuff, I was going to go back to that thing, hoping that, uh, I think my detect magic should be, still be up and... Well, if you, I don't need to take magic to tell you that thing. <laughs> it's, it's magical spear got got done poked. <laughs> I was really on fire after that one. I'm not gonna lie to you. What are the chances that the the armory is hiding like the walls? Uh, are there any like possible holes behind these like false, racks? That's a good idea. You can look for one. All right, you want to investigation perception? I'll do perception for that. I'll back him up. Eleven. I'll back him up. Eleven. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. That's fine. You can roll at advantage. That is. Nevin, did you leave to go uh, check the pillar? That's worse. It was worse. 
<clears throat> With the 11... Yes, I did. You don't see any gaps in the walls. It kind of all sits... There's a little bit different shading of the stones, but nothing that you can make out with your uh, perception. Hey, I do not um, sort of follow everybody else. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'll go with it. I was going to ask a question. Come on, Nevin, you got this. Um, Nevin actually just said he had to go put the kids to bed, so what we'll do is we'll take our little five-minute bio um, drink break real quick, and then okay. hopefully that gives him enough time, since I think he's going to um, begin pushing buttons. I'm going to cast. Uh, I'm going to ask if he wants some guidance from <laughs> Lord. Don't give him consensual guidance. Right? Yeah. No, you can't. You can't. There's no such thing as non-consensual guidance. I have to be willing. Jesus. It's in the rules. Get back. Right. I'm not going anywhere because everyone in my house is asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have to pee again, but it's really long, far, far away. I love this map. This map is, this map is great. <laughs> this map? Yeah, this map is rad. I'm gonna go grab some bay bells, because cheese is fucking perfect at this time of night. Where'd you get this map? <laughs> did you make this map this one i didn't as you can see by me being very surprised of the teddy bear found oh i guess that's true right this one i did not i'll tell you when i make them trust me and there's one i'm very proud of yeah i made a i made a map recently where because i was i was experimenting with fantasy grounds and one of the cool things you can do with fantasy grounds is you can add like occluders to um so you can have like uh, dark vision and torches and everything like shed light around corners and everything mm -hmm. um, which is like just fun like a like a like a fun like atmospheric thing but I, I got uh, I started using um, incarnate recently and it made a couple of maps just to kind of like this is a incarnate map yeah I could I, I recognize some of the stamps in like the mm -hmm. um, in the cavern area like like that yeah so I like incarnate but sometimes it pisses me off well yeah I mean it's like it can be, there's like very, it's very rigid in terms of what you can mm -hmm. and can't do, right? And like, the, just trying to get the grid stuff to match up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I agree. Yeah, I wonder if people put those teddy bears and other things like Easter eggs in there. You know what I mean? You can tell I make maps because, like, I've I, the first thing I saw when this room opened was like, oh, there's a teddy bear in the corner. <laughs> it's probably someone else's backstory. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, there's the teddy bear I was looking for. I guess it could be pretty dark. So I don't, I guess I don't want to go down that road. <laughs> Like a teddy bear to crypt, so like I mean, why else is it there? Like it's sad. Very, very what sad. Thing? There's something near the statue that's like weird and green. Yeah. I just like all these stamps just like pop out to me for some reason. I I know I can tell that you zoom in on all the things, especially my pig wielding farmer. Oh, that's true. Well, I just thought that service was great. Pig. I thought it, it was a good. service animal. That yeah. was a cool icon. I just thought it was good. <laughs> I love that. I love that you vary all the icons because, like, it just feels like you know, like all the goblins are different. And like, do you uh, do you change? Uh, this is like metagaming. I, I I don't I don't mean to ask because I want to know. But like, do you do do they do you vary hit points between monsters or whatever? Or like, I've not been paying attention. So like, um. I do, but most of the time, what I like to do is make kind of like elite mobs, kind of like um, like an MMO. Okay. Now cool. you guys haven't actually fought an elite mob yet, but you will. So, like in fourth edition, they had uh, they kind of they categorized all the different monsters by like brutes or whatever. And the brutes always had a bunch of hit points, right? Mm -hmm. And so it was like kind of like an elite mob, right? So it's like they hit harder, they hit like a truck. 
and they just had a, a bunch of hit points, right? Mm -hmm. They were meant to stick around for a round of combat because you know you could have a couple of them, and like with six people going, they would live, right? In five e, so. the hardest thing to do is have a one monster encounter. Yeah, surprisingly, because by the time <laughs> they have a they have a round, and then like six people hit them, it's like, mm, well, now they're pretty much, if not dead, almost dead. Yeah. I'm just gonna go grab a drink real quick and I'll come back. Like the legendary actions and shit like that. Yeah, you said you were taking a break and then I asked you a bunch of questions. So that's <laughs> um legendary actions are part of some monsters, but um can always just add as many as you want. <laughs> that's the cool part about being a dam, you can kinda do what you want. Yeah. Oh, this is a goblin, but uh this goblin is badass. He's in full yeah. enchanted plate mail and <laughs> wields two dancing blades. I just like how Jacob was sitting there with his little lighter back and forth and his wife or whatever walks in and was like, uh... Are you trying to set the apartment on fire? Like, are no. you okay? Yes, I'm fine. No, it was a joke. It was a joke. Dude, I know. Uh, it was a joke. I'm Do we know... Please, but can you calm down? Do we check this area out over here? I feel like Nevin maybe did at yeah, one see, point. Yeah, yeah, yeah we did. Alright, cool. Well, because now we're like finding stuff everywhere, so I'm just like, well, I'm uh, where, where, where else is the other you stuff? You know, that water kind of looks like the Eiffel Tower. What if we go into it and we end up in Paris? <laughs> it's like, oh no! Oh, it's a, it's a spider web. Oh, Sorry, it's a spider web. I was I was just talking to to Ryan about how like I recognize all the different stamps from Incarnate, so it's like, oh, I I see how they made the map. It's good. It's a good map. I like it. You're like, I could have made this with time. <laughs> no, I, why? Well, yeah, it would take me a long time. And you'd be really proud of it. <laughs> yes, it's true. I have made a couple maps, and I'm like, oh, it's my favorite. I did such a good job. So I have I no have artistic ability. What are you doing? What are you doing, pretty lady? Yeah. That's my cheese. <laughs> no, that's my cheese. You Who's know, a good girl? Did you know that most cats are actually lactose intolerant, which, intolerant, yeah. which is funny? Because they're obsessed with dairy. Well, yeah, because they'll eat milk. Well, most lactose intolerant people yak everywhere, which is like not what you want. Most lactose intolerant people love dairy. That is true. Well, you love what you can't have, right? I was, I was just talking about lactose intolerant people. They always have dairy. Mm -hmm. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> 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 that was the same. Like, what do lactose intolerant people put on their pizza instead of uh, inst in, instead of cheese? That they they don't care. They, they don't, don't eat. Pizza. They just they eat just it eat, anyways. Yeah. They just eat yeah. it anyway. Yeah. That's like my sister. I, She's gluten free because she has that. What is that? Um, dis disorder where you can't celiac. Yeah, celiac. celiac. Yeah. And she's just like, "What are you having for dinner?" I'm having pizza. Okay, I'll eat that. What? <laughs> oh, no, it's okay. I'll spend the entire day tomorrow in the bathroom crying, but it's totally going to be worth it. Pizza's just that good. So that was the first time me and Ryan touched tips. No, I'm just kidding. He was back long enough for that joke to not work anyways. <laughs> yeah. By tips, I'm talking about crystals. What are you guys talking about? Is um, did Nevin come back while I was gone? Nevin, Nevin, <laughs> Nevin. Yeah, I'm back. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> um. So let's just get the identification out of the way. We're identifying the chain mail shirt. It is a. Elven chain shirt. Ooh. This place. Hold on, what was that blue shit you just put in your mouth? <laughs> oh, oh that's that sounds so cool. Great. Yeah. My they're mouth great. watering just seeing that. <laughs> they're they're the they're the perfect amount of sour. It's hard to find for me find sour stuff, but this is great. So I, I thought we were doing some Heisenberg shit. Not to, uh, that's funny, actually, I get the reference. Wow, what a surprise. Um, I work in a manufacturing industry, and we always get, like, you know, Nepali people and other foreign parts of the world people. 
that don't generally eat a lot of like the candies that we have. So I brought in a bag of Warheads one time just for them to try, and I didn't tell them what would happen. One of them cried in the middle of the production floor when they put it in their it's mouth. Like, that's yeah. fucked up, dude. <laughs> I'm a fucked up person. He put it in his mouth. He put it in his mouth. His name was Bakta. And he put it in his mouth, and he spit it into his hand, looked at me real sad, and he's like, why would you do that? Why does this candy hurt? All right, so Elven Chain Shirt. Mm-hmm. In a human manner, in the in the in the sub level of a human manner, but like in a in a crypt where with a bunch of elven markings. Mm-hmm. Yep. <sighs> I Why would you fuckery. with a statue of Merkel right. and mm-hmm. a Minotaur? Yep. There's a lot going on here. <laughs> that doesn't seem like a lot. These are some old elven ruins with an old elven family that worshipped. Merkel, and then over the time, it got buried in, say, some dirt or erosion. Humans built on top of it. They found it at some point. Either the bandits did, or they did one one day they did while making it, and they just kept it. Yeah, but so the, the, the one hole in that theory is that the the sarcophagi all had the like in the inscriptions of the Tresendar family on them, right? So the one yeah, someone yeah. was buried with this chain shirt. Mm. Maybe the Transcendars were just really friendly with the elves. Or maybe they just thought it was a very convenient place to bury themselves. True. It would be a half elf. Could have been a half elf. Right. Sure. Huh. Sorry. I'm probably getting too wrapped up in the <laughs> details here. I, don't know, like... I like it. Yeah, it's nice. It is nice. But, hey. Anyway, Nevin, don't Merkel, get scabbed. Merkel doesn't. Merkel doesn't uh, discriminate. He's a. Uh, he'll take all bones. Same. He'll take all the bones. Yes, half the day, yes. We take applications on Thursdays. I will take blood for the blood god. Skulls from the skull Thursdays. Friend. Yes. Did we just make a corn reference? I love it. Oh yeah. Fuck yes. Bloodthirster behind this fucking wall. Um. All right. Sorry, Nevin. We need to look at something before we before our detour. <laughs> Yeah, I was looking at the uh, uh, this little statue of symbols and whatnot, and hoping my detect magic might reveal something. What it does is makes those three runes all be highlighted. The circle with the line that doesn't pierce through the circle, but the outside, the square, and then the triangle, all in a horizontal row on the pillar. And uh, <clears throat> do they all look the same? Like, do they all have the same 